Wes here, your craft beer geek, back with another beer review. Tonight's beer is the second year-round offering from the local brewery here, Cigar City, uh, located down in Tampa, Florida, and uh, this is their High Lie IPA, 7.5% uh, alcohol by volume. It doesn't say, it says a lot about IBUs on the on the marketing sheet here, it doesn't say how many, so. But this sells for $2 a bottle and 12 ounce bottles around here. This is just their the second in their seasonal offerings. We tasted the Maduro Brown Ale already. I wanted to get these out of the way before I started testing some of their more um, exclusive beers. So, let's give their IPA a try. Uh, I, I have had this on tap before. had it out of a bottle before. Okay, so we do get the typical light amber IPA color, very clear. Nice one, one and a half finger head on the top, very white pale head. hop aroma, not, you know, not super strong, double IPA, crazy hops, but it's nice, light, hoppy aroma. Now let's give it a taste. It's quite a bit of carbonation. Mmm. Mm. Very tasty. You know, seven and a half percent alcohol. Um, it's 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 bordering in that devil IPA range. It's kind of it's kind of a heavier mouth feel. Um, you know, sort of medium to heavy, not not real heavy, but medium to heavy mouth feel. Very light, biscuity, malty uh, taste, backed up with the with the hops. Little bit little bit grapefruity, but not not like crazy amounts. A very nice balance. Uh, you do get a nice, like a caramel, malty taste. With a little bit of the citrus coming through. And it's a very, very flavorful beer, but it's, it's uh, very well balanced as far as the hops, you know, meeting up with that really strong, malty, you know, seven and a half percent alcohol heavy bodied, almost double IPA range kind of beer. It's very nice. The label on this is pretty neat. It's got a, uh, a highlight player sort of flinging a hop cone out, out of his, uh, I believe it's called a pelota. That the, the, the <clears throat> thing they wear on their arm to fling the ball in high lie. Um, just flinging a hop cone out at you. It's kind of cool. Never really took much time to look at that before. Yeah, this is a really good, well-balanced IPA. Not particularly something for a newbie to start out with. It's it's very strong, very flavorful. But once you get into IPAs and you you get used to higher alcohol beers and really strong, intense flavors, and you're you know you're looking for that next great flavor rush, then this would be a good one to try. Um, like I said, uh, Cigar City is pretty new brewery. They're they're really uh, burst onto the scene with a pretty strong um, enthusiasm. Uh, they make some really amazing, amazing beers. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to review a lot of them here on my show, since they are kind of you know they're they're 
you know, the best close brewery to me, uh, as far as a brewery that's known across the nation now and, and around the world in some ways, you know, just doing great things for Florida as far as breweries go. We haven't really had much great, many great things in the way of beer here in Florida, and it's really, really awesome to see uh, somebody like Cigar City come along and sort of pave the way and, you know, let people know that Floridians can brew beer too, and there's a lot of other great breweries in the state, and they're, they're also starting to get some recognition, and I hope to be able to feature them on the show as well, and just uh, show that Florida has great beer too, and great weather, and all that stuff, so... I think I'm ready to give this Cigar City Highlight IPA a rating. Um, like I said, really flavorful, caramel, malty, sort of biscuity, you know, heavy malt flavor mixed with some nice citrusy, fruity hops, balanced really well. Um, neither one is like overpowering the other. It was a very well balanced beer. Very good. Maybe not. Maybe not good for a hot summer day. It's maybe a little bit too heavy for that. But for a nice cool fall or spring night, this would be a great beer. So I think I'm gonna rate this uh, Highlight IPA at an eight out of ten. It's very good. Very tasty, nothing really wrong with it. I would gladly drink this with a meal, pick it up, enjoy it at a any kind of outing where I thought it would be appropriate. So thanks for watching. I'm Wes. I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.